Space is one of the last unexplored frontiers, and within it lays thousands of mysteries. The secrets of the universe are endless. Space has always contained extraordinary and mind-blowing mysteries since we first pointed our telescopes to the sky. This wonder and amazement have only grown as our technology has developed, allowing us to travel to these destinations we never believed possible. Instead of granting us answers to our questions, it has only led to grander theories and even more puzzling mysteries to surface. However, every year scientists and researchers are doing an amazing job at uncovering some of these secrets, but the majority of these do remain unsolved. With private space companies now working on technology to take us to other planets, researchers have said it won't be long before future humans will be waking on other planets. One interesting discovery that's been made is that of the cosmic web. Astronomers have believed for some time now that there's something holding the universe together. Researchers haven't only worked out what a cosmic web is, but they've also cited it for the first time. Research from Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope showed that 12 billion light years away there is a group of cosmic web that are connected together by a system of gas fibers. This discovery is key to the current clarifications of how the universe formed after the Big Bang. Be that as it may, until this perception there had just been talk and theories that the cosmic web actually existed. A lot of scientists, researchers and astronomers have been studying the cosmic web. An astrophysicist from Durham University claims to be excited in witnessing the universe's early filaments in their extended form. The astronomers now have an approach to outline the structures legitimately and to comprehend in detail their job in controlling the arrangement of supermassive dark gaps and cosmic systems. Many people have given kudos to the exploration group who had the option to legitimately identify the web by using concentrated gear intended to get any structure no matter how faint it may be. Astronomers have come out to discuss how the cosmic web works. Cosmic system bunches are known for being the most firmly gravitationally bound structures known to man. They can contain a huge number of worlds. It has been anticipated that 60% of the hydrogen made during the Big Bang can be viewed as long fibers strung out across space in the galaxy's glue. By mapping out a portion of the light radiated by hydrogen inside a universe bunch called SSA-22, the group had the option to recognize singular fibers of gas that make up a web-like structure between cosmic systems. It's believed that the astronomical web is the platform of the universe and gives the system to cosmic rays to frame and advance. The most recent perceptions bolster this hypothesis by uncovering supermassive dark gaps, star-bursting systems and bunches of dynamic stars all at the crossing points between the fibers. The immeasurable web has been seen before, however, just as short masses of gas past worlds. Since you might have the opportunity to see what Cosmic Web looks like with your own eyes, an astronomer named Umahata has made the task simple by bringing to you the description so you can get an idea of what it looks like. He claims the filaments that make up the Cosmic Web are very long, going even past the edge of the field that he saw. Umihata's claim adds assurance to the possibility that these fibers are really driving the extreme action that we see inside the universe's fibers. As of right now, more studies are being conducted on the cosmic web. Another fascinating discovery is that of radio bubbles in the galaxy's gut. We are made to believe that what lies within and around our galaxy is more than what our eyes can comprehend. There is a mystery that lies within our galaxy's region center, which is bubbles. The bubbles are huge and radio-emitting. The history behind the mystery has been a long one, but astronomers have said that we shouldn't confuse the huge radio-emitting bubbles with the huge gamma-ray bubbles that were found in the year 2010. There is a black hole known as Sagittarius A, which is present in our galaxy. Astronomers believe that there might have been an eruption from there which resulted in the radio bubbles. The strange fact about the radio bubbles is that astronomers have never seen anything like this before, despite the radio bubbles being in such a big structure in our galaxy. 
Some astronomers have compared the Fermi gamma ray discovery galactic bubbles with radio bubbles. They claim the latter is less energetic and smaller than the former, but there is a possibility that the two bubbles were created under the same circumstance. The structure of the radio bubble was first seen with a Meerkat telescope which was built by the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory. Astronomers said the radio bubbles have an hourglass shape, brightens the filament's origin with 1,400 light years. This leads on to another recent interesting discovery, and astronomers have called it solar tsunamis. When there is a shockwave of the solar coronal on a very large scale, we can refer to it as a solar tsunami. When an amazing flood of plasma formed across the surface of the Sun years ago, they were tagged solar tsunamis. However, some scientists believed the waves of plasma to be an optical illusion of sorts. Further research has now confirmed that they are very much genuine. At the point when researchers previously observed the marvel, it was hard to believe that a transcending wave of hot plasma was really hustling along the Sun's surface. One of the waves ascended up higher than the measurement of Earth and in a circular manner, rippled out from an essential point over a million miles wide. When a stone is dropped into a pond, the waves that form can be likened to this process, but in a larger form. Suspicious spectators proposed it may be a sad remnant or an illusion. Yet new perceptions from Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory Shuttle known as NASA's Stereo are telling analysts that this controversial marvel isn't a figment. To further prove their point, NASA discharged a striking video of a sun-oriented wave. With the release of the video, NASA hopes to convince the world that a solar tsunami is genuine. In the year 2009, two spacecraft were deployed to observe the solar tsunami. Reports from the astronomers say a solar tsunami can be over 60,000 miles, a massive difference when compared to the tsunamis experienced here on Earth. This gives you an idea of how vast the universe is, and how we really are insignificant compared to the rest of the universe. A baby solar tsunami can travel at 550,000 meters per hour, while a full-blown solar tsunami can make a 1 million meters per hour journey. Researchers hope that one of these doesn't come close to Earth, because if it did, the effect would be terrible, and quite possibly end life as we know it. Every year, scientists are discovering new galaxies. In fact, this isn't considered to be impressive, as there is so many out there. However, every so often a galaxy is discovered that turns out to be a little bit different. Astronomers have recently discovered a living fossil out in space. They've described it as being an unusual, singular, ultra-diffuse galaxy, known as UDG or GGSAT-1. DGSAT-1 was found in the year 2016, and it's believed to be a galaxy on its own. DGSAT-1 is said to be huge, yet the measure of light it emits is strikingly low contrasted with ordinary galaxies. It likewise appears to scatter some recently considered suspicions. Space experts claim that most ultra-diffuse worlds are embedded inside swarmed and clusters of roiling galaxies. However, DGSAT-1 is in solitude. Untroubled by galactic impacts or other infinite change, it has most likely not changed since it was conceived. Aaron Romanovsky, a University of California Observatory's astronomer, said the following. The chemical composition of a galaxy provides a record of the ambient conditions when it was formed, like the way that trace elements in the human body can reveal a lifetime of eating habits and exposure to pollutants. Further research has managed to show the astronomers that the galaxy has normal amounts of magnesium but not much iron. Another researcher working on the program said they can't understand how this is happening. The combination of pollutants doesn't really make sense. As of right now, more tests are being carried out on this mysterious galaxy. Interestingly, researchers have said they've only scratched the surface when it comes to these types of finds. For example, going back, scientists have combined over 16 years of images gathered by the Hubble Space Telescope to create a mosaic of photos. 
This mosaic includes more than 265,000 galaxies and zooms in to provide a total distance of more than 13.3 billion light years in detection away from our solar system. The image has been dubbed as the Hubble Legacy Field, as the entire mosaic photo has been described as being the largest image field history book on the formation of our universe to date. Interestingly enough, despite the image's massive size and collection of photos, the entire view of the sky that it holds is less than the area of the sky taken up by the moon at night. It really shows us how many galaxies and planets there are out there, and who knows what else is going on out in the vastness of space.